Hello, and welcome to the Ecom Planning Suite online tutorials. This is one in a series of video tutorials demonstrating the functionality and components of the Ecom Planning Suite. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use alternate data to replace default data in the ComPlan template. Most data tables in the Needs Assessment and Market Analysis sections of the ComPlan template are populated with default data. However, this data can be replaced with local or other data sources. These alternate data sources are categorized as either survey or administrative data. Survey data includes informal surveys, such as neighborhood surveys, and more formal surveys using statistical methods. Administrative data includes any non-survey data, such as city records on code enforcement. Before demonstrating the process, it is important to note that when adding alternate data, you do not need to input or upload the entire data table, but only create a citation for the source. You can include the complete data set as a unique attachment or reference where it is posted on your website. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to add survey data to the housing cost table on the MA15 cost of housing screen. This process applies to adding any kind of alternate data in any data table in the consolidated plan template. To get started, click Alternate Data below the Cost of Housing table. This brings you to the AD30 screen. Previously added alternate data sources are listed here. To add a new data source, click Add Survey Data Source or Add Administrative Data Source, respectively. In this example, we will add survey data. Enter the name of the data set and basic information about the data in the fields provided on AD35, including who conducted the survey, a brief description of the data set, the survey year, the survey methodology, and a profile of those surveyed. Be sure to provide enough detail so that HUD can confirm the reliability of the alternate data source when reviewing your plan. In this example, we will create a source for a recently conducted housing market analysis, which we will use for the cost of housing data. Once all information is entered, click Save and Return. The newly created housing market analysis data source is now listed under Alternate Local Data Sources. The description column indicates whether the added data set is a survey or administrative data source. Remember, all non-survey data are referred to as administrative data. To edit the information just entered, click on Housing Market Analysis in the Data Source Name column to return to AD35. To use the alternate data source, in this case, the Housing Market Analysis, check the box next to the source under the Select column. Then, click the Select button. The Housing Market Analysis citation will be listed under the table. The Used in Report column indicates that the alternate data will be included in the comp plan. Enter a brief description describing the source, and, if this data is not being used to replace all the default data, which fields in this table are being edited with the alternate data. This will be included in the plan directly below the table. In the table cells, the default data in the table can now be edited. Enter the new alternate data directly into the table. Remember to save the screen by clicking Save before and after adding the alternate data to save any narrative and alternate data entered on the screen. If you click Save and Return, the page will be saved, but you will be automatically returned to the menu screen. To revert to the default data, click Default Data. The default data will appear in the table. 
To remove the alternate data citation, click Delete Data Set. Once entered into the system, the same alternate data source can be used for other tables in the plan by clicking Add Alternate Data and adding it from the AD30 screen. In addition to adding alternate data sources directly under the corresponding table, you can also add them from the AD25 screen. Click on either Add Survey Data Source or Add Administrative Data Source to add the new source. Previously added alternate data sources will also be listed in the Alternate Local Data Sources table on the AD25 screen. Thank you for participating in the online tutorial on using alternate data. For additional tutorials and resources, please go to the OneCPD Resource Library.